I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. On Saturday, CPAC Texas 2022 held its convention straw poll. The poll measured conservative activists' top issues, response to the Supreme Court's overturning Roe v. Wade, and legislation. It also measured the choice for 2024 Republican presidential candidate, which was former President Trump by a landslide 69 percent. Trump has won every CPAC straw poll since he has entered office. The poll also measured who attendees thought would be the next Democratic presidential nominee, Trump's job performance, and who Trump's potential 2024 running mate would be should he win the GOP presidential nomination. Wherever you tell me to you go. You all know that uh, Jim McLaughlin here was President Trump's pollster, is President Trump's pollster, so uh, you know what you're doing. Uh, You've won a few races over the years. Let's hope so. And let's yeah. hope the results come out good for President Trump, but we'll we, see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Are you laying no. odds on that, Matt? I think you'll do pretty well. I think you did pretty well. <laughs> All right, with that said, without further ado, and I want to thank everybody for taking this poll. Um, I know, you know, it takes some of your time, but this is the beauty of it. I've been involved with the CPAC straw poll at various times for over 20 years. And the response to this one was great, just like it always is. So with that being said, the first question, we asked folks what the most important issue was. Number one, election integrity, 61%. So you agree with that, right? Number two, the border wall immigration, 51%. Energy independence, 31. Inflation, cost of living. You notice some of these other things at the bottom, and again, it doesn't mean that it's not important to stuff, but look at COVID-19, down around 1%. We've all <laughs> moved on, except for the press. But that's for another day. And you look at the Ukraine-Russian war, only down around 1%. So now some of the other issues we tested. Do you approve or disapprove of the United States Supreme Court overturning the Roe versus Wade decision, which now gives the states the right to decide their own abortion laws? 98% approve, 93% strongly approve. So you like that one? Only 1% disapproved. Uh, from what you've seen, read, or heard, do you approve or disapprove of the more than half a trillion dollar reconciliation package that has been outlined and agreed to between President Joe Biden and U.S. Senator Joe Manchin Boo. that deals with taxes, climate, health care, and the economy? And look how we asked it. At the time when we first wrote the question, at the start of this, we only said a half a trillion. Now, what is it? What's it up to? 740 trillion? And rising by and the rise, hour. That's right. 740 billion, excuse me. 97% disapprove, 94% strongly. And I'm telling you, the Democrats are nuts wanting to go into election day running on this. The American people intuitively know when you spend more, you tax more, you have more corporate welfare in there for companies like more cylindras and whatnot, not to mention, what is it, $80 billion for more IRS agents? Yes, that's right. And you take away freedom. Yep. That's right. And they, a very fair question, and look what it is. We know what's going on here. We know what they're going to do. And to call it the Inflation Reduction Act, Come you, on. Get, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> It's worse than the so-called Affordable Health Care Act. Which do you think is the greatest threat to America? Internal forces such as the deep state, public education, and the mainstream media? Or external forces such as Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea? 91% the enemy is within, was from within. This is, uh, this is important for you all to understand. I mean, oh, I think we all feel it. The woke right? The attacks, the false charges of bigotry and hate, hatred, the idea that America is a bad place. You know, I think it was Khrushchev who said, we won't beat you with bullets. We'll beat you from inside. And you all know that that's exactly what they're trying to do. That means our focus yeah. has to be on getting rid of this cancer. Inside. It really does, Matt. And as you know, and Jim knows, in the early days of CPAC, those charts would have been flipped. Yep. And so it really is a transformational thing that we're witnessing here, and it means our job is all the more important. That's right. And I, I give Matt a ton of credit, because that was the question he came up with. And when he did, I said, that's perfect. I didn't change a word to it. By the way, the other thing is with this, 
I think it also tells you how much Americans believe in themselves. They believe in freedom, they believe in the people, unlike the deep state who believes in government. Power to Amen. the people. Amen. Yeah, said well. Yeah. Who do you L, think will be the Democratic L. nominee for president in 2024? <laughs> I thought this was interesting. You're saying it's going to be Gavin Newsom. <laughs> what do you think about that? You think it's going to be Gavin Newsom? <laughs> what jumps out at me, only 8% think it's going to be Joe Biden. Just 8%. <laughs> only but, only 8% of Joe Biden thinks it's probably going to be Joe Biden. I don't know. We're not sure what he thinks these days. Um, you know, I thought Matthew McConaughey might get a couple more. He only got a couple votes there, 0 0.3. All right. Now, with that being said, this is a question we've been testing since, you know, uh, Donald Trump was first elected president back in 2016. We asked his job approval. And I've said the last couple CPACs, I don't think it can go any higher. You know, he was at 97% last time. What do you think? <laughs> higher? Let's see. 99%. <laughs> and now you're right, Jim. It can't go any higher. <laughs> and, and we decided to do something really novel in America. We actually only let you vote one time, and there you go. <laughs> we actually had people complaining about our uh, voter security on this. So, but anyway, with all that being said, you never see, nobody gets a 99% approval rating. It's amazing. Do you guys agree with that? <laughs> all right. Now, what's going to happen maybe in 2024? We'll see. Here's the ballot. President Trump, 69%, which, by the way, is up double digits from last year. So you know how the mainstream media has been telling us his you know, influence in the party is waning? Not at all. As a matter of fact, what's happening is he's more popular than ever. Let me know the next Republican that wins a Republican primary by running against the president and his agenda. I think it's a very important, though, to point out that <laughs> Liz Cheney is at zero, okay? I think <laughs> Wyoming is very far away from Colorado. What do you think about Liz Cheney being at zero? <laughs> <laughs> Lower than zero. That's right. <laughs> okay, now what happens if, for whatever reason, President Trump isn't on the ballot next time? Here you go. Ron DeSantis, 65%. Followed by Donald Trump Jr. at 8%. Liz Cheney actually got a vote there. Kind of, kind of amazing. It's 0.1%. She barely showed up, but she did get, she actually, in, well, honestly, she got 0 0.1. So did Chris Christie. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. I did think I saw Adam Kinzing in here somewhere, so <laughs> that could be the vote. You don't know. All right. Okay. Now, if President Trump is the nominee, which kind of seems to be the uh, general gist of the audience here, um, if he is the nominee, who do you want to be his vice presidential candidate? Ron DeSantis, 43%. Followed by Christy Noem, Mike Pompeo, and then a bunch of folks down in single. I thought Tulsi it, Calvert was kind of interesting at 4%. Including a Democrat. Look what one appearance at CPAC does for you. Yeah, get you some support. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it and then some. So, and I think, I think that's it. All right, everyone. Uh, your voice has been heard. It's time to take a little bit of a rest because you're going to have to be very exuberant here in just a short period of time. We're going to be right back at you with a lot more. So, And, and last but not least, all these results, I know there's some questions we didn't put here. They're all up on, they'll be up on the website in a few hours so you can see the rest of the results also. Enjoy and thank you. Good job, Jim. Thank Good you. job, Jim. Right. Not just thank Donald you. Trump's pollster, a 